Schedule meetings to help your group organize and collaborate on projects and assignments, whether or not you are in the same location. In this tutorial, we will discuss the different types of meetings, how to schedule and join a virtual meeting, what you will see as host of a virtual meeting, and how to share your screen during a virtual meeting. To schedule a meeting, click Meeting from the feed. There are four different types of meetings available to schedule. In-person meetings, conference calls, virtual meetings, and chat rooms. You can schedule a face-to-face -face meeting that happens offline by selecting the In-person meeting option. A conference call meeting will give you a free conference line that participants can dial into for an audio-only meeting. A virtual meeting includes video and audio conferencing, as well as the ability to share your screen with other participants. A chat room allows you to set private text chat between multiple participants. We are going to schedule a virtual meeting. Please note that virtual meetings require that you have Adobe Flash Player installed. Fill in the details for the virtual meeting. First, give the meeting a name. Select a length for the meeting from the drop-down list. Then choose when you would like the meeting to start. Next, choose the participants for the meeting. You can choose to invite entire groups or individuals to the meeting. Select your chosen group from the drop-down list or enter the email address of the individual you would like to add. Separate multiple addresses using commas. If you would like to remove somebody you have added to the meeting, click Show Participants. Then click the Remove icon beside the name of the participant you would like to remove. All participants will receive an email notification for the meeting, regardless of their preferences. When you are ready, click Post. Because this virtual meeting is scheduled to begin immediately, the host receives a confirmation that the virtual meeting has been created and is asked when to enter the meeting. Click Start Now to begin the meeting. Regardless of when the meeting is scheduled to begin, it will display in the feed once it has been created. Invited participants can access the meeting via the notice in the feed, the link provided in the email notification they receive, or by clicking the alert icon. When you first enter the meeting, you will see a notification showing a phone number. Participants can dial into this number to join a conference call for the meeting. You can see all of the meeting participants in the Attendees section. As host of the meeting, this is also where you can set meeting permissions for selected attendees. You can chat with meeting participants using the Messages section. You can also share your screen with participants. To share your screen, click Share, then Desktop. Note that, depending on your browser settings, you may need to take additional installation or permission steps before your screen is shared. Select the sharing size and image quality for your screen share. Note that when deciding on these settings, it is important to consider everyone's internet connectivity. A higher image quality requires a faster internet connection. If these settings are not considered, you and your participants may notice disruptions during the meeting. Everything within the red border is shared with attendees. This border can be moved by clicking and dragging it to the desired location. To stop sharing your screen, click Stop Screen Sharing. A message will appear confirming that you would like to stop sharing your screen. Click Stop. When you are ready to leave the meeting, click Exit. As the meeting host, you will receive a message asking if you would like to stop the meeting or leave the meeting without stopping it. To end the meeting, click Stop Meeting. Scheduling meetings allows you to collaborate with group participants on projects and assignments. You can schedule a variety of different meetings, including in-person meetings, conference calls, virtual meetings, and chat rooms.